All right, what's up, class? So my mutation or mutagen is uh, the gene that causes celiac disease. It is a it has a strong associations with mutations of a certain gene called the uh, DQ2 or the DQ8. The long version of that is the HLA-DQ2 and or the HLA-DQ8. I have one of those two, I'm not really sure which one. Um, I'm a carrier for celiac disease. My sister has celiac disease. I think my mom's a carrier. I don't know, it comes from my mom's side. Either way, um, so there's that. How does it affect us? So it, it alters the gene and then it causes a autoimmune disease where your antibodies will attack your body causing the uh, villi in your intestines to essentially burn away and uh, you have trouble absorbing nutrients and things of that nature due to consumption of gluten, which is in wheats, oats, barley, and rye. So it's not fun because gluten-free sucks. All food that has gluten is delicious. Um, where do you find it? As I said previously, on the DQ2 and DQ8 genes. Uh, you would need to do either a genetic test for it or to truly confirm whether you do or do not have it, the best way is to do a endoscopy or a, a biopsy on your intestines. The alternative way is to do a blood test to test for higher levels of a certain antibody. I don't remember uh, which antibody specifically, but if you have a high amount of this antibody, it's because this antibody is attacking your body. Uh, next, is there current research out there pertaining to this mutagen? There is tons of research pertaining to celiac disease. And celiac disease is super common. It's, uh, according to research I've read, it's so common as 1 in 100 people to 1 in 150 in the United States have it. However, most people have it and don't realize they have it, are either asymptomatic or um, they just haven't gotten tested and don't realize that they have it. But it is a highly common uh, condition, and um, you know, if, if you tend to have a lot of GI issues, diarrhea, constipation, you know, those are opposite ends of the spectrum, but they can both be caused by the same thing. Um, if you tend to have a lot of issues after eating like pastas or breads and stuff like that. It, it might be worth your time going ahead and just doing the blood test because it's a lot less invasive than an endoscopy or a biopsy. Um, I mean, these days, um, endoscopies are pretty simple. They have you swallow a camera pill thing. My sister had that when she was a child and gosh, what was that? Like 2001, something like that. So, um, uh, you know, things have come a long way, you know, things are a lot less invasive, and they just kind of look through the footage and uh, tell you what your villi look like and whether you do or don't have it. But that, these are like real broad strokes. Uh, if you feel like you have it, um, go do some research on it. There's tons of research out there on celiac disease. Um, so that's my two cents. Uh, stay frosted, my friends.